Okay, I want to get out here and check. I've done this in the daytime, probably been better, but I want to look under these leaves because I'm told that sometimes when the frogs show up, that sometimes, and it'd be under the bigger leaves, that you might have aphids because the ants are coming up after what the aphids are leaving behind and the frogs after the ants. I think I'm good. I really don't think. I said look for like a, um, like a, oh, hey guy. What's up, buddy? Look for like a cotton type of, and underneath it'll be like black. I, I think they're clean. I think we're good. I wonder if the frog is still in here. I see the, the lizard must come out at night, and the frog must handle it during the day. Uh, he's probably in here somewhere. No telling. When I was little, I called frogs geegees. So it's my little Gigi. Had a pet lizard named Leard. I had him for about three years. <laughs> he was an anole. I think I might have mentioned that before. Okay. Yeah, look how they're coming up right to here to me. So yeah, that's me putting them about four foot tall. All right. Yeah, so I'm told if you get the aphids, you know, if the aphids start getting on your plants, and I've learned about them in the past, that some people will use like a little bit of a Dawn dish washing liquid, and, um, <clears throat> and uh, but I also, when I was reading online, when one of my friends told me to use a solution with hydrogen peroxide and water, uh, one teaspoon to one cup, so put that at the roots, and it'll also bring the plant back stronger and start coming back up. Incidentally, whenever you, um, it, when I looked that up online, it also said to put it in a spray bottle, spray the leaves, and it will keep pests, insects, aphids, and stuff like that away. So maybe that's why I don't have them. Maybe that's why everything bounced back so well, because it, it, they have certainly done a whole lot better. But if the aphids stay on there, that's another reason why your blooms can drop because they'll go attack the blooms and sometimes I was thinking my blooms are dropping because I need the hydrogen in it, you know, nitrous, maybe too much nitrogen, maybe the pH wasn't right. So I've been sticking to what they told me to do and it's been working. So one time a week I put, hey little bit, I'll put this right here one once i do i've been doing it on thursday because i leave out on every other friday and then um and then i got my hydrogen peroxide and, and i've just been giving regular sink water and with the sink water you know that tap water just seems to do a whole lot better than going out and buying that high dollar bottle of water and it uh hey baby okay all right darling you want to say hi <laughs> all right guys